Hey, so how's the filming going for the 20th anniversary of KKP? Pretty good. Got four films in the works, but there's one I still got to figure out. Oh man, it's got to be something epic. Meh. Hey, we should do the underdog sports movie where the team goes from zero to hero. No way. All right. How about a musical? Too complicated. I guess you could do like a, um, a documentary. If I was going to do a documentary, it would have to have some scripted elements. It's kind of blur of fiction and reality. Yeah. Like a mockumentary. More like a docu-mockumentary. Um, what does it feel like to be back for the 20th? I honestly can't believe Ken's been doing this for 20 years. It actually boggles my mind that it's been going on for 20 years. It was, it was definitely something, uh, interesting creative activity to get into as a, as a teenager. And this was before the internet as well. Like right at the very, very beginning, I think, of the internet. I'm really excited that I got to be a part of this, you know, from the beginning till now. And I, uh, I love to see all of my friends from the past uh, together again. It's kind of crazy. Kind of bring back old memories from high school. I don't know. It's kind of tough to wrap your head around, you know, 20 years. It doesn't... How do you process that? It... 20th anniversary. That's super special and insane. I didn't start until about eight years in. So this thing has been a machine that's been rolling for a long time. So it's just cool that it's lasted so long and it's still happening and um, it's really special. Because it's just really cool. 20 years to be doing what you love, making projects with your friends and films. It reminds me of 10 years ago being, or 11 years ago, being 17 years old, running around, Filming. Because it's such a big milestone for Ken and all of his films. We had a lot of good years. Uh, it's fun seeing everybody grow up and all the people that come and go and the funny stories and the laughs. Like, I remember how young I was for a lot of those films. And, and it brings back a lot of happy memories with a lot of different friends. And I did not realize that I had been uh, with Ken this long. <laughs> and I've only been, uh, been with the company, I suppose, for just a couple of years. So it's a lot of fun. Pretty cool. So it was kind of uh, it was kind of a unique thing, you know. It wasn't uh, didn't have all these kids doing the snapping chats and and like instantly gramming things, you know. It's this is was uh, this was I think they call it OG. Okay, so where do we start? We need a cameraman. Hey, is that Calvin? Hey, hey man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, so we'd like you to be the cameraman for the KKP documentary movie. Sure, I mean, I, I don't have anything going on. I just need a camera. Oh, look, there's one right there. What are the odds? Okay guys, are we good? Okay. Hi, I'm Ken Clatterman. I'm the founder of Kenneth Clatterman Pictures, or KKP for short. And I've been making films for over 20 years. Prior to KKP, I had made some small videos. These weren't big projects, and honestly, they weren't the best. However, in May of 1996, I was in school, and I was given a writing assignment. I turned in the story, and the teacher said, this reads kind of like a script. And I took a look and I said, that's what I want to write. And she said, well then go ahead and write. So I wrote the beginnings of King Edward the Great. And that was the beginning of KKP. And here we are 20 years later. I've always known I wanted to be a writer and really get my stories and my ideas out to people and I feel that film is the best medium for that. What I love most about it though 
is when you're making a film, you get to interact with the best people. I love the people I get to make films with. You know, there's been over 150 people that have been in films. Guys, idea. Okay, what we need to do is get as many former cast members as possible to come back for the 20th anniversary films. Yeah, and I'll hold the camera. Oh, we need to find someone. You always have someone new in every KKP film. Don't worry about that. I have an idea, but we need to start getting to work. How'd you do? Nah. Huh. All right. Well, I think we have enough to start, though. Yeah, I think so. Now for the editing. Yes. Now that's going to be a lot of hard work. All right, well, good luck. So Derek, thanks so much for coming. Thank you for helping with the editing. All right, let me show you some of the awesome footage we got. Okay, here we have costumes of filming past. We went into the warehouse and we dug up some costumes. We're gonna try using them in 2016. So we thought we'd uh, show off some. We have the, uh, the Rambo. This, this cool paintball glove. I'm not sure we've actually used this before, but maybe we will this film. This little girl, who remembers Jane. And some nice army jackets. The wizard hat. So, what you think? Yeah, this is gonna take all night. <laughs> I think we should get some food. There's no way to describe it. I mean, you got a big group of people and it's just constant fun. It feels overwhelmingly solid, empowering. The amount of craziness on set and the inside jokes and the just ridiculousness, it just makes it so much fun. The interactions make the funniest moments that you don't expect. It's creative, and it's new, and it's not like anything else you really do. Like the people involved, they just make it super interesting, and... 
nice. It's happy times, I think, to do all this with friends. You're spending a lot of time around a lot of really great people who want to be part of the same thing. So it's like you build, a, I probably made a ton of friends throughout my years. You're always something different. There's always a different plot. There's always a new twist. It's hot, it's sweaty, it's exciting, it's hilarious. It's, it's a lot of fun. I mean, I've never really gotten a chance to be like an actor ever. So you get to be something pretty interesting, I guess. You know, it's really nice because you get to like imbue your characters and kind of like you put your own twist on it. It's like being in an action movie, or it's like being in a wave pool. The masterpieces that we create together are just like totally worth it. It's really fun. You never really know what to expect. Um, I'm always kidnapped though, so I know to expect that. Uh, it feels like being, you know, just hanging out with a group of friends. It's great because you're just with your friends or friends of friends and then you become friends. You never know what you're going to get. I don't know, it definitely creates a lot of memories that you'll have forever for the rest of your life. So I feel like we're pretty good, but I feel like we're missing something. Yeah, just a little something. Hey, Ken. Hey, Alex. I have a very odd favor. I've had this sudden craving for Apple Jacks, and I know you always have them, and I was wondering if I could have some. Oh, uh, help yourself in the kitchen. Okay, awesome, thanks. Anyway, I think what we're missing is something to do with the party. Yeah, no, I know, I know exactly what you mean, we are. See, I'd like to like show parts of the party and kind of give them a flavor of what it's like, but I, that would mean the party would come before the film? How could the party come before the film? Guys, I don't mean to interrupt, but I have an idea. Why don't you throw a fake party? That just might work. You're right, it could. And we could show a mini film about the parties at the fake party. That would be amazing. Let's put up these streamers. This is gonna look awesome. Got the saltines. I just broke the cookie. Okay, I think we're ready for the fake party. Fake party? Yeah, I think so. You know, the one thing I'm worried about is we always seem to have last minute technical difficulties when we get ready to show the film. Oh, yeah, those tend to happen. It's true. I know, I'll call Jason, he'll come help. Great. Hey Jason, it's Ken. Hey, Ken. So, you may have heard about my fake party I'm doing? Yeah? Well, let's just say I could use a little technical help. Well, I can help you, but you do know I'm not actually an editing expert, right? Oh, don't worry about that. It's not editing per se. It's more like technical difficulties that might come up when we try to show the film. Just those accidental blue screens of death, huh? Okay. All right.
Wow, uh, not as many people as I uh, thought. Yeah, not awesome. Maybe I shouldn't have included the word fake in the invitation to the party. Now that you mention it. Well, it is what it is. Yeah. I'm gonna check how the editing's going. Okay, I'm gonna go mingle. So we're all set, no problems, right? Got to like 90% and had a rendering error. Lost everything, had to start over. Oh, um, but, but you can fix it, right? Go, go stall, I'll Google something. <sighs> a lot of fake guests at your fake party. No, no, no. They're real guests at my fake party. Oh, hey, how's Jason doing? Oh, uh, f fantastic. What? That, it's not even possible for that to be the problem. Yes, I restarted it. Anyway, um, Mingle, let's keep the party alive! <sighs> Uh, I love the parties. I try to make it a point to go to every one. <laughs> well, it's kind of like a big family reunion. Definitely going to be there for the next one. I find when I'm filming, like, I'm already looking forward to the party. And then you watch it, and then you're like, oh, I actually wanted to be in that. Ooh. I like, I like when Ken goes and introduces, like, the, the movie, and I like everybody kind of huddles around the TV. My, the coolest part for me was seeing everybody that was pretty much in the crowd was watching themselves on the TV. Everybody's rooting for everybody, and uh, we're all just really excited. There's always lasagna, <laughs> which I love. Uh, usually there is lasagna. By usually, I do mean always. Ken's mom's famous lasagna. Mm. The lasagna is a super important part of the party. Let's go check it out. Ken, I didn't realize when I threw the idea out about having the fake party that I was going to be helping this much. Here's Alexandria preparing the spaghetti sauce for the lasagna. And I look like a Starbucks employee. There is the food, which is good. Being Italian is not bad. This is great mac and cheese. Yeah, I helped make that too. The lasagna, the cake, and the... the the traditions, it's, it's, a, it's a fun thing. So originally we used to just hang out all the time at Ken's and the party was just a heightened weekend because it was Ken's birthday. Then over the years, the traditions developed and it became more of a full-blown film release party. Having the traditions is what makes it something that you would go, ah, yes, Ken's thing. Yeah, so the traditions are fun. And, um, you know, I'm not really sure. I think the way they kind of started was Basically, certain things just kept happening, and so then they became traditions or something. Even new traditions get created at the parties, like something happens that's really fun, so then we, you know, that kind of becomes the new thing that we look forward to every year, so it's, it's actually a lot of fun. The first time I saw him, I didn't know what the f was going on, and then the second time I, I started to get it, I was like, oh, okay, good, I get it. It's ridiculous, which makes it great. I don't remember all of them. You have to stab something. Something about a chair. Does Kat know all of them? <laughs> the tradition I've been watching for years now, and somehow I'm like, I don't even know when it started because I didn't come when it started. I came right in the middle, but now they still keep going and going. I'm like, how does Ken even remember this stuff? I mean, to be honest, I don't fully understand them, <laughs> but there, there seems like a lot goes into it. The traditions are the plate hat, Stabbing the cake. <laughs> the candle tradition. Mm -hmm. 
someone lifting the chair. All right. Get ready. Yeah. Yeah. Something crazy. Something crazy. Something crazy. And something crazy. The saltine challenge. Your guests compete to try and eat a stack of crackers in under a minute. Go! <laughs> Two guests switching an article of clothing. This next tradition, I'm gonna leave out. But don't worry, we'll get to it. And last year's new tradition, someone balancing a pineapple on their head. So their traditions are the traditions and there may be more added, but we'll see. So there we go, everyone. We've uh, completed the traditions once again and no one has died. Well done to everyone. I'm glad you all liked it. That about wraps up the film. Wait, wait. Don't you always need a new person in your movies? Glad you brought that up, Olivia. You all may have noticed I left one of the traditions out. That tradition deals with a very special person. She has never been in a film. And that's Danielle. Now, Danielle's husband's been in a film, her brother, lots of other people close to her. But she herself has never been in a film. One could say it's just kind of weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I mean, you, sh you should definitely be in the film. What do you want me to do? All right, so here we all are. So for those of you who don't know, Danielle came up with the uh, tradition of throwing a drink at me at my annual party. Happy pictures too? Yeah. All right, and... Happy birthday! Yep. Yay! So we're going to recreate this here with everyone watching. <laughs> do I really have to do this? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. And there we go. <laughs> so James, I was thinking about for the end credits, a techno song playing in the background and having an audio clip from each of the different films. How difficult would that be? You know, that wouldn't be difficult at all, Ken. I don't, I mean, I don't want to say it was one of my favorites because honestly I feel I feel guilty about it when I think about it now. <laughs> one of the first ones that comes to mind is when we were doing one of the King Edwards and Jason Mesmer was uh, was a scientist who was working on me. My spell, something's happening. You know, really, to get the realism, uh, I, there was a scene where uh, I think I spit at Jason. No, it's for Davis, 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 Davis. Most favorite. That would take some thought and some consideration. Easier would be my oh, least favorite, which is where Josh Greenberg spit on my face on camera. Little world. Why? Because I'm insane. I, I'm sorry, Jason. I, it was it was all for the movie. Channel, channel. I think it was this white sword scene from one of my very very earliest films. How do you find the kill with this? We were at his parents. Um, textile warehouse or whatever, it was like the middle of the night, we were just filming and filming. Because Xavier is still alive. He may have changed his appearance, but he's still the same old evil Xavier. It's so long ago! So I don't even remember, I just remember crouching this place behind nice a for a base. island in a miniskirt trying not to flash it. Grandma will to check out the new Italian place, Pasta Pete's. Uh, tricycle chasing with Matt Jackson, Dimension Lord 2. I like stopping evil criminals. It's a hobby of mine. That along with space hockey, abstract art, and exploring archaeological dig sites. Axing something while you're a crazy person. You ruined my family's life! I was the telepathic and I had to like, project to my husband and like, you tell him all! You take place as my chief lord. And we were just kind of like practicing our characters and stuff, and we were just like being all medieval times. <laughs> so that's pretty fun. You sure want to save it? They're completely opposite viewpoints. You're right. Maybe you're not as dumb as I thought. Let me see if I can get this straight. When I was the um, the murderer and I was sneaking outside the window, called Jazzman appeared and beat you up. 
Yeah! I always like the death scenes. Dude, her ex-boyfriend gave her that, so she crucified it. All you Brian Matthews fans are about to be disappointed. He's been murdered after his last show. James Macon was in costume and as Dark Vampire. As many of you know, Dark Vampire has many strains and dark powers. Hence the name Dark Vampire. <laughs> <laughs> we had to dress like a cat or something like that. We're gonna kill Johnny G! When whoever's playing the evil character does like a laugh or something, and you have to keep your keep everything together because normally it's like really funny. You always love at first sight. You're amazing. I want to run away with you. Were you going to torture me? No, darling. That was just an act. I think my favorite moment while just filming was sure when in a previous day. movie one of the guys got knocked out or killed in my house and then they had to drag him out the front door. <laughs> that was fun. I don't know how you defeated my brother, but I will have my revenge. Actually, that was an accident. There are no accidents! I remember being dragged slightly through the, the hardwood floor. Jackie Baby! How's my number one writing machine? It's been really cool to work with Cal and also Josh. Josh, is, he's hilarious. Any moment with Josh. Dave, what are you doing? Actually, I'm here to warn you about a threat to your restaurant. And I brought Jenga. So we've had some good, like, uh, uh, back and forth together. Just like uh, the dynamic is really funny. Time for Did he and a buddy of his? Oh, remember shoving me and Amber into the trunk? And they fight. Oh my god, there was a lot of blue balloons to that. We could not stop laughing. Trying to shove us into a trunk. Oh god, it doesn't sound as funny. If you're there, it was really funny. You didn't need me. Well, I'm such an amateur. You know, playing a villain. And I asked if he wanted some juice. Can you get me some juice? juice, juice? The part that I did where You've I kind of like, like ripped off my shirt and screamed and then was chasing after someone. And then you go and you betray me! The first one that comes to mind is Jason Burghorn coming down the stairs <laughs> in Dakota Kelly. Yeah, he's a tasty piece of meat, all right. I was um, the esthetician. <laughs> Filing nails and with the evil villain, right? He's an evil villain, I think. Not all of the crazy things that happen actually make it. Some things, like one year someone jumped into the pool naked, did not become a tradition. Planking, not a tradition. There was even a mannequin challenge. I got the right house. Come on in. Welcome to the party. What's your name? Venus Atherton. Got to like 90% and had a rendering error. Lost everything, had to start over. It didn't make it. So hey, is there any way we can get you guys back for the 20th anniversary? Mm, my schedule's just so crazy. Yeah, my schedule's insane. What if we make Dakota Kelly too? Check back with us at the 25th anniversary. Or maybe the 30th. This is going to be exciting! Here we go.